Told you, too open. <laughs> too open. And off we go from Omaha. Creighton off to its best start since 1943, trying to knock off number one for the first time. As Mo Watson dribbles inside, finds Foster. Here's Patton, the seven foot freshman, right here in Omaha, beginning to score. And that's what you want to see early for Creighton. Keep in mind, Joe. Villanova goes inside to Daryl Reynolds, who backs down on Patton off the back iron, and Patton has the rebound. Here's Foster down the lane. Great off to a good start. Once again, in transition. Yeah. And Mark and Patton, just, just in that time, has to stay with Jenkins. Foster again. <laughs> you, you think they got their emotions under control? I think they're going to stay out of foul trouble. Very important. Here's Huff, the Nevada transfer. Knocking down the triple. It's so good to see because he was so good. Cole Huff at the end of last year. The injury. Now they're back in a big way. And they've done it by getting transfers in. Here's Patton backing down Pascal. And Frank has hit his first five shots. And, and what a luxury it is to have when your offense gets in that defense against this Creighton team because they are an excellent three-point shooting team. Stay down, take away the easy opportunities, and rebound the basketball. Off a contested shot goes. Those keys to success sponsored by SoFi. Offer scored the final 10 points and really just refused to let Villanova lose that game. Here he fouls Huff, who has a chance for a four-point play. I think this time the switch came a little late here. Lack of communication between Reynolds and Hart because he's going to get his opportunity. Pascal for three. The Fordham transfer had it go around and out. Rebound for Creighton. Here comes Watson. In the corner, it's Cole Hawk. Back in and on Reynolds, a fadeaway, and he's off to a hot start. An advantage post play to Creighton. Whether it's Patton inside, push it up quick, attack versus this bigger team, and now you can get some baskets inside. Thomas turning the corner, at the rim, lays it in. One of the most improved players in the Big East, Kyrie Thomas. And it helps that little no ground ball. Crowd wanted a foul, won't get it. Foster on the drive, plus the foul. Parker on the Reynolds screen, throwing into the lane. And Creighton takes it away. It's Thomas on the push. Great vision to find Foster. That's a three. Foster turns it over. Even Chenzo comes up with a loose ball and has his pocket hit by Thomas. He looks to counter for Creighton. Kyrie Thomas. Jim Jackson. Playing a little peekaboo in transition. Kyrie Thomas from behind, no one talking. Big time momentum swing. Great. Able to take back the league and keep it 29-27. Hey, that play through. You saw Jim Patton is back in, so Patton and Watson both playing with two fouls here late in the first half. Well, you need Patton inside to protect the, the paint. They get it to him quickly, hitting above 70% on the season. Top five in the country. We're tied again. Quick move, no fault. Watson goes around Brunson so quick. DiVincenzo, blocked from behind by Patton. Well done, playing with two fouls, still able to make his presence felt. Now down the lane, banks it in. Why not?
why not reward your big man for one helping on defense not staying married but then sprinting the court able to get a nice two inside those rim runs from the seven footer such a big part of this team's transition offense Josh Hart probing inside, spinning, shooting, in and out. DiVincenzo can't follow, and it's Watson with the board. Mo Watson with his eyes up, Patton again! For the two fouls, but he's come back and made an impact quickly. Well, well, you, you talked about Joe, his physical maturity, but his, his mental maturity by sitting down, understanding his value, not only scoring inside, but running the court. Mo Watson back in the game, making things happen. And when you have a versatile post player that can intimidate and block shots on one end, but as we saw in the last few possessions, run the court with the best of them and finish, that gives you something valuable, something. Foster catch and shoot. Yeah, got it. A dozen to lead Creighton. Experience on the court, and when you lose that, you lose the mental angle as well. Thomas for the tough finish. And, and that's the point, too, not just defensive. Eight deep, getting Crompol some minutes today. Well, the both two teams do an excellent job of playing defense without fouling. Only four total free throws in that first step. Foster gets to the rim and lays it in, snapping a 7-0 Villanova run. Team to lead all scores. Foster right back at you. I'll take it too. Hart over the seven footer who goes up to get the rebound. Here comes Watson on the push for Creighton. He kicks it back. Now Thomas behind the back on Pascal. Lays it off for Patton. And Creighton takes its first lead of the second. Foster thought about it. Now puts it on the deck. 19 footer. And 19 points for Marcus Foster. Brunson goes by Foster, gets rejected by Hefner, saves it to DiVincenzo inside a 10 to shoot. Jenkins forced it up there and was unable to follow his own miss. Here's Foster on the push to the rim to cut it back to five. And again, the lack of having a rim protector. Bearden passed up an open look. Oh, it's Watson. Only two points today for their second leading score. Patton has it tipped by Jenkins and puts it up and in for the shot clock winding down. And how about the patience of Patton? He Here's Watson working on Bridges with a lob for Patton. but he's continuing to do what he does best, distributing the ball. Well, yeah, you can't buy seven foot. You just hope you get it. And right there, Watson able to turn the corner. Just throw it to the rim, young fella. Looks like it's zone for Nova. I'd look for a lob to Patton. Haven't been able to get that yet. 16 on the shot clock. Watson, comes. Foster, Searden. Got Searden it. looking. Here's the lob. Here's big money. Here's the dunk on the assist by Z. Nick Bach calls it. Game's down to a five-point Villanova lead. Joe, I know a dunk is only worth two points, but the energy that you get out of it, especially coming back to back, makes it seem like it's more four to six points because it energizes not only yourself, but the crowd in the deep. 8.20 to play, Jay's down five. Watson behind the back dribble into the paint, hands off underneath, but Patton has to reverse back out. 14 on the shot clock. Searden, he's open from three. Boom! <laughs> Isaiah Searden, five points, make three-pointer, and a big shot there for the Jays. They're down two. Back off as the Jays get it into the front court. 4.53 left, Creighton down by three. Someone in the heart of the defense here. 
Zierden fakes one way, shoots the three, and ties the game! Isaiah Zierden fakes the pass to his left, buries the triple. We're tied at 66. Two big threes from Z. Boston from the perimeter perspective. And the man defense. It's Watson. Drive it on Bridges. Up and in. Oh, Watson. Five points that you can make the plays, Joe, but more importantly, defensively, they can get the stops. Villanova knocks Creighton from the ranks of the unbeatens and has won 20 games in a row, dating back to the national championship run last year. 14 and 0 for the first time in program history and still number one in the country. We'll be back to Omaha.